let us solve this question this question was asked on may 2019 let us first go through this question and we'll solve this question a pre-stress concrete beam of 10 meter span having section 100 mm by 300 mm is pre-stressed by a parabolic cable profile with an eccentricity of 50 mm above the centroid of the section at the support and 100 mm below the centroid of section at the mid span if the cable is tensioned from one end only estimate the percentage loss of free stress in the cable due to the effect of friction assume coefficient of friction in curve point not 3 phi radian friction coefficient of wave effect is equal to point not not 1 phi per meter <coughs> in this question you have to find out only the friction loss let us solve this question okay so first you have to sketch the uh, longitudinal section of the beam with given data okay so the longitudinal section is okay so so this is the longitudinal section of the beam it clearly shows the cable profile okay so this is the siege of concrete so this is one end this is another end the span of beam is 10 meter span of beam is 10 meter let us sketch the cable profile so it is clearly mentioned in the question the eccentricity of a wire is 50 mm above the center of the concrete at end okay so the eccentricity at this end is 50 mm okay symmetrically at this end also and at center the eccentricity is 100 mm below the cg of concrete 100 mm below the cg of concrete okay let us sketch the cable profile so this is your cable profile okay let us join this end because you need to find out the theta at this end okay so you have to find out only friction loss you have to find out only frictional loss or it is called friction loss okay the losses mu alpha plus kx into initial pre-stress initial pre-stress okay so main thing is mu is clearly given in question it is a coefficient of friction in curve effect it is point 3 phi okay as well as k is given in question it is point not not 1 phi per meter it is the coefficient of friction in wave effect so mu and k is given only to find out the alpha okay so we know that alpha is equal to cumulative angle made by tangents so alpha is equal to generally it is 2 theta okay so first you have to find out the theta and then multiplying 2 you get the alpha so what is exactly the alpha how to find out the alpha okay 
so if you take the tangent if you take the tangent made by the parabolic cable at this end okay and at this end so this angle is alpha okay is nothing but the double of theta so what is the theta so theta is angle made by the tangent at this end okay that means it is the slope of that cable so how to find out the theta so we know that theta is equal to it is dy by dx but it is a slope how it is calculated the theta is calculated using the simple formula it is 4 into h divided by l square okay it is l minus 2x dash okay what is exactly the h h is the central rise okay it is the central rise of parabola central rise of parabola okay so the central rise is this so this is the central rise of parabola okay this is the distance h it is 50 plus 100 the answer is 150 mm okay the central rise is 150 mm okay so find out the theta it is 4 into central rise is 0 0.150 put into the meter l is the span of the beam it is 10 square okay again it is 10 minus 2 into x dash what is the x dash x dash is a distance from the jacking end okay x dash is a distance from jacking end where the theta is calculated so we have calculated theta at this end so at this end value of theta value of x dash is equal to 0 so to put x dash is equal to 0 so you get the value of theta okay so this is 4 4 into 0 0.150 divided by 10 into 10 okay again multiplied by 10 so it is 0 0.06 if you get once theta so you can clearly find out that alpha 2 into theta it is 2 into 0 0.06 okay it is 0.12 you get the alpha once you get the alpha you can find out the loss due to friction okay so mu is equal to 0.35 it is clearly given in question alpha is equal to 0.12 plus 0.0015 we know that x so this distance is x x is equal to distance from jacking end where the maximum loss is desired okay so the maximum loss is always at the remote end so at the remote end the value of x is always the span of the beam it is 10 meter initial process is not given in question so you have to put in symbolic form you have to put let us continue the previous problem okay it's 0 0.35 into 12 is the mu alpha term plus 0 0.0015 into 10 and the symbolic form of the initial process is p let us find out the value of s let us find the value of loss ok this 0.35 into 0.12 plus 0.0015 into 10 it is 
पॉइंट नाट फाइव सेवन इंटू इनिशियल प्रस्टेज पी सो इन द क्वेश्चन रिक्वायर टू फाइंड आउट द परसेंटेज लॉस ओके परसेंटेज लॉस ड्यू टू फिक्शन ओनली ओके ड्यू टू फ्रिक्शन ओनली परसेंटेज लॉस ड्यू टू फ्रिक्शन ओके सो परसेंटेज लॉस इज इक्वल टू टोटल लॉस डिवाइडेड बाय इनिशियल प्रेस स्ट्रेस मल्टीप्लाइड बाय हंड्रेड ओके टोटल लॉस इज पॉइंट नॉट फाइव सेवन इंटू पी टोटल लॉस इज पॉइंट नॉट फाइव सेवन इंटू पी इनिशियल प्रेस इज पी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय हंड्रेड ओके इट इज फाइव पॉइंट सेवन परसेंटेज दिस इज कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम